about 23 to 24% of likely voters are what we classify as swing voters. That is, voters who are undecided between Barack Obama or John McCain, or who make a choice, but when probes say it's possible they could change their mind and vote for the other candidate. This rough quarter of Americans, a real key group, obviously in a close race, moving these people one way or the other can make the difference. So let's take a little careful look at exactly who they are. Bad news for John McCain, slightly more of his supporters tend to be swing voters than Barack Obama's supporters. In other words, even those people who tell us they're going to vote for John McCain are a little more likely to say they could change their mind than is the case for Barack Obama. Not surprisingly, these voters tend to be independents, that is, they don't have a strong allegiance to the Democrat or the Republican Party. In fact, 34% of independents are swing voters. That compares to 21% of Republicans and only 16% of Democrats. Here's another interesting fact that, again, does not work to John McCain's benefit. Conservatives are significantly more likely to be swing voters than liberals. Look at the numbers there. About 27% of conservatives say they are swing voters. 27% of moderates say they are swing voters. Only 12% of self-described liberals are swing voters. Liberals tend to strongly be in favor of voting for Barack Obama. So again, we're finding that those voters that are a little more inclined to vote for John McCain are more likely to be a little uncertain about their choice and could change their mind. What about age? Well, younger voters, as we know, much more likely to vote for Barack Obama than John McCain. And sure enough, there are fewer swing voters among 18 to 29 year olds in our likely voter pool. The percent of swing voters goes up at age 30 and stays roughly about the same from that age on. The bottom line again out of all of this is that oh, a little less than a quarter of likely voters in this country right now say that they could change their mind or they haven't even made up their mind yet about whom to vote for. That's a big group. We've got a close race, so if even, you know, half, a third of those move one way or the other, it could produce a landslide for either Obama or McCain. Good news for the Obama camp, his voters seem to be a little more certain. John McCain voters tend to be a little more uncertain about their choice of voting for John McCain. We'll keep a close eye on these swing voters as the election progresses. They are the key to a victory by Obama or McCain. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Poll.